Get excited to get dressed again with the new collection from American Eagle. Visit AE.com or your nearest store to shop the softest ever tees, 90s inspired fits, and must-have jeans that look as good as they feel. The graphic tees have a super vintage wash and they are honestly my favorite. The true tee. You know that tee you wear every day until it basically deteriorates? (laughs) With that lived-in softness and true to you feel you've been trying to replace ever since, that true tee is the reinvention of that tee. For access to the best perks and rewards, at American Eagle, make sure to check out the Real Rewards credit card. You can get an extra 20% off your purchase and free shipping and returns. Right now, they are offering an exclusive offer for my listeners. Open a new account by 9-30-21 to get a $50 bonus reward loaded to your account after you make your first purchase with your Real Rewards credit card. Text JORDAN, that's J-O-R-D-Y-N, to 37585 to see if you pre-qualify. Subject to credit approval and a Real Rewards credit card must be used as sole payment type. Must be 18 years or older to apply text message rates may apply hey everybody happy thursday or friday whatever day this episode goes up i'm here in michigan with my mom so we're in a different scenery today you are currently on the porch on our farm in michigan want to say hi mom hi everybody do you want to have any life quotes of the day to start this episode off with wait i just heard oh wait oh oh my gosh i just i just can i get my phone really quick Sure. Oh my God, really? So I'm back in Michigan for a week. That's why uh, this episode is through Zoom. Shout out Podcast One. So I'm back in Michigan for a week. That's why this episode is on Zoom. And I've been hanging out with my family. Um, oh, she, here's her quote she's got. Yeah, ready? I don't know who, who wrote this. So it certainly wasn't me, but I came across this today. Six important guidelines in life. Number one. When you are alone, mind your thoughts. When you are with friends, mind your tongue. When you are angry, mind your temper. When you are with a group, mind your behavior. When you are in trouble, mind your emotions. When God starts blessing you, mind your ego. I think that's awesome. Send that to me. Yeah. I felt that. Right. Um, Well, I appreciated that. I was in church about exactly a month ago and something that they had mentioned was regrets they they brought up regrets and it was about how they did a study on people who were in the hospital who like were not doing very good and they asked them if they had any regrets in life and i guess everyone had the regret of not saying what was on their mind or not persuading things that they wanted to do persuading things yeah like going through with things I don't know I guess that's not the right word no but they were saying that like you know like you you constantly have something that you want to say or you want to reach out to a certain person or what like there's just so many things that could have happened in your life if you would have said what was on your mind and not held back perhaps and in certain scenarios obviously there's bad things people want to say and they don't but I'm talking maybe more about love and more about family and more about reaching out to people. Like, I guess a big study was that it was number one, that people had regrets that they didn't say what was on their mind. What you're, what you're saying to to like uh, simplify it is people hold back. They don't, they don't offer their true feelings up for fear of rejection or embarrassment. I'm going to try to find, it's a book, six regrets of dying people. I think it just came up. So maybe that was where it was from, but yeah, it was like a, the top five regrets of the dying. I wish I had the courage to live my life true to myself and not what others expected of me. I wish I hadn't worked so hard. I wish I'd had the courage to express my feelings. I wish I'd stayed in touch with my friends. I wish I had let myself be happier. Keyword there. What is the keyword? Wish. There? No. Let. Yeah, like. Yeah. So like all of that is like ever since, I don't know, I just, I, 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 blah, blah, blah. I learned so much from church and from Judah. This is like getting into it for me, but I basically our church and it's called church home in LA and it was every Wednesday. And now because of COVID for the past since maybe I went to the first one that was open in I think April, maybe, maybe May, but now it's only on the last Wednesday of every month. So last Wednesday, I mean, last month, it was about that, like about like regrets and stuff. And it was just like, I needed that at that moment, you know, like I expressed Mm -hmm. my feelings 
And like within that time, even that he said that, because I like took it, you know, like I was like, okay, I need to really just live my life, honestly. And I need to say what's on my mind. And ever since that, that was like the moment that pushed me to be like, okay, like, and then looking at my life, like exactly a month later, maybe it was two churches ago, like maybe it was two months ago, but like looking at my life now is completely different than what it was before I had heard that. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, <laughs> after that tangent, I'm back in Michigan and I haven't seen my mom since all my life issues have happened. Right. How has my life changed? And I saw you beginning of June. So it was bef that was 10 days before like the official announcement. It was already had happened, but like, how do you feel? about what you've been through, what all you've been yeah, through? Yeah, like since the last time I seen you, like all this stuff that has happened. I think that you're like, well, Arizona was so hot anyways. It's hot right now. Anybody could, it's hot here. <laughs> We're in the porch with no like circulation, no air flow. But I think that your life changed a lot and you grew as a person a lot in the last couple months because I wasn't you know, there to help you do. Yeah, all, it was good, honestly. Yeah, it was really good. I felt terrible when Skylar left to help you move because I knew it should have been me, but I knew you also needed that time with him. And that I also knew that you could do it on your own. And I feel like what's happened to me is when I was like on TV in like Abby's ultimate dance competition, when I was like 14, I felt like I was like 18. Like I felt like I immediately had went to 18 and like I was professional. I was always on time. Like I had a schedule, like I had a lot of priorities and a lot of responsibility at such a young age that I feel like I went from 14 to 18 real quick but then I felt like I was stuck at 18 until this month because mm -hmm. like last time I saw my mom I didn't have COVID <laughs> I I I was couch hopping in LA I didn't have my own apartment I was basically single going through a breakup and now I like obviously don't have COVID anymore. I have my own apartment. I have all my stuff from Arizona. I went there. You sent me a lot of stuff. Yeah, I sent her like six boxes back here. <laughs> I still haven't opened yet. Like we're still paying for the lease in Arizona. So like we still have to like talk and like send rent and everything. Well, he has to like send rent to me. And I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, I could have this as a storage unit because I'm paying for it anyways. Um, and I was just like, I want, I want my stuff now in case like I don't ever get it again. So I sent a bunch of boxes here, like of my merch. So my, my, my mom's going to put like my merch back up and everything. But basically I have always had my mom or Jordan do the laundry. Like they always did that. She always cleaned like. I lived with people and I was always busy. Like I didn't have time. Like I've talked about this. Like you didn't even have time to go to the restroom. So like my mom was still like my mom until I was like 20, not 18. I'm not still your mom. <laughs> no, I meant, I meant like, like when I'm back home. Yes. I mean like washing my, like, like in Arizona and like in LA, like when my mom moved back home, my job was the dishes. Jordan Bowes was the laundry. So now I got to do both of those, but I haven't done the dishes yet because I haven't used a dish. I haven't used a fork or anything, so I haven't done dishes Is yet. Is that your plan? That's your plan. <laughs> to eat out every freaking day so you don't have one single dish to do. No, it's really not. I'm not, it was just like, I didn't even have like a frying pan until like a week ago. So I didn't have, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It's just like, the, the time I hang out with my friends is me going to meals with them. Yeah, I know. While you're sweating. <laughs> because it's 9,000 degrees out here. So mom, what's like the one thing that... I'm like what what do you have to like say about like anything I guess I don't know what do I have to say about anything like me growing up and like living alone right now and not having she hasn't even came yet oh to see your apartment yeah yeah what do I have to say about that well that's how you were raised you were raised to be independent and you were raised to be able to do things that normal people shouldn't even know how to do I guess I mean I mean now dishes. now you should be able to do that yeah that's where I failed you and all my children for that matter as far as dishes so she just laundry. she's like a clean freak and it's got to be her way it's, it's not like I was like told to do the dish or like you know I was never like you, you wanted to do, do it your dishes. way yeah 
she's that type of person and it's exhausting like basically she's saying like i was able to book my own flights when i was like 10 years old like mm -hmm. i could go to airports i could i like called ubers and like booked things and i don't know she's I, i've been independent in that set of like i i could live alone but i just never did but you know what hold up though because that makes me sound like i was a shitty mom and didn't like no you were training you, me you basically were, exactly but you made it sound like i didn't do anything no. you had to do everything I like know as you soon, as, soon like as you that. were like we gotta go to detroit this weekend i would be like on um, hyatt.com yeah. like getting the hotel yeah yeah like, I, I just yeah, I, I, like I forced you i forced you to, to do that that kind of stuff yeah because i knew it would it would pay off with the lifestyle that you were aiming for i guess and landed in and landed in yeah, yeah. Yeah. And right now in Michigan, we are starting, by the time this episode is up, we'll probably be done with it, even if it's tonight or tomorrow. Virgin River, we have got to crack down on it. We, the last time we were ever in Westlake Village, I think, we watched season two. We watched it in one day. It is the best show ever, y'all. Like, we're on episode one of season two right now. No, three, 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 three. And y'all, it's so good. I need to still watch Outer Banks season three. I watched the first episode. Maybe this, I think I watched this. Everyone has been two. saying I look like Sarah Cameron right now. And it's like all over my TikTok. And it's like becoming like a thing. Like, I, I, I don't really see it. I think the only way I see it is like, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just like we're like blonde and small. I don't know. But like. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, but I'm so excited to finish Virgin River and be with mom right now and and have her come to see my apartment soon. Yeah. And a Dodger game. And a Dodger game. Look at her. Are you wearing the stone one? I Can am. I show them? Yeah. Uh, guys, on the video version right now on YouTube, we're showing you my mom's jersey. Once, she, she once rhymed, a dance mom, always a dance mom. She rhinestoned it. It says Mookie Betts, or it says Betts. And it's completely rhinestoned. Uh, Except watch, for I lost one. Yeah, watch the video version on YouTube to see it. But um, yeah, I, actually, I want you guys to go on my Instagram right now and comment on my recent post, whether you listen to the podcast or you watch the podcast. Because a lot, like when I'm in your, like when you're in the car, when you're in the car, I feel like you're definitely an audio listener. Mm -hmm. Um, but then if you're like getting ready or you're bored, I feel like you watch the video version. So let me know. When the weather gets warmer, the last thing I want to do is be all sweaty in the kitchen cooking over a flaming hot stove. But also, I don't want to exactly order takeout for every meal. That's why I'm obsessed with Daily Harvest. Daily Harvest delivers delicious harvest bowls, flatbreads, smoothies, and more, and all built on organic fruits and vegetables right to your door. It takes literally minutes to prepare, and I love knowing that the food I'm eating is actually good for me. Daily Harvest never uses preservatives, added sugar, or artificial anything. My favorite Daily Harvest menu item is probably the chocolate and ooey gooey midnight fudge scoops. Daily Harvest is all about leaving the earth in a better place than they found it, not just for us, but for generations to come. They focus on increasing biodiversity, investing in organic farming practices, reducing food waste, and even prioritizing recyclable and compostable packaging. Go to dailyharvest.com and enter code Jordan, that's J-O-R-D-Y-N, to get up to $40 off your first box. That's code Jordan for up to $40 off your first First box at dailyharvest.com dailyharvest.com today's episode is brought to you by cerebral they're an online mental health service that offers prescription medication counseling and therapy for anxiety depression adhd insomnia and more cerebral is one of the very few services that provides prescription medication online through a licensed provider and ships medication straight to your door they provide unlimited messaging with your care coordinator with the cerebral mobile app it's like having your personal care team wherever you are. You can connect with your counselor and therapist on your own schedule through your laptop or the Cerebral mobile app. Plus, Cerebral has affordable treatments that are one-third of the price of traditional therapy. And for listeners of my show, you can get 65% off your first month of medication management and care counseling at GetCerebral.com slash Jordan. Go to GetCerebral.com slash Jordan for 65% off your first month. That's just a total of $30 to get started. Join Cerebral today for their mission to make quality mental health care accessible and affordable for all. We all know about smooth legs, but what 
no one is talking about and addressing is one of my biggest shaving pain points. A smooth bikini area. But now there is Venus for pubic hair and skin, a complete regimen of products designed specifically for your intimate area. Venus's new collection features products created for pubic grooming, taking into account the unique process and needs for both the hair and skin in this delicate area. Venus for pubic hair and skin razor features optimally spaced out blades to allow the razor to cut hair while barely touching the skin. This razor minimizes irritation in the pubic area where the skin is delicate and the hair is coarse. The skin smoothing exfoliant is great prior to shaving or in between hair removal days to help protect against cuts. Their 2-in-1 cleanser and shave gel protects skin from irritation during the shave and can be used as a shave gel or as a daily gentle cleanser. And the Daily Soothing Serum helps maintain skin hydration and reduce itching. Check out GilletteVenus.com to learn more about why these products have been flying off the shelves everywhere. Well, Mom, we've always done questions where you get to, you know, get to know me or test me. So I'm, I mean, test, I get to test you. So today on this podcast, it's going to be like a, how well do I know my mom? Hmm. Okay. So I have the questions on my phone right now and I'm going to be like quizzing myself. It's so hot in here. I feel like for the first time in my life, I know exactly who I am. Like, yeah. Same. And that's huge. I know. Right. And it happened to us at the pretty much the same. I feel like I couldn't be my, like I couldn't be happy and like my best self until you were. Cause I put like a lot of, like, I worry about you a lot, you know? So I feel like I couldn't, but it's not like a bad thing at all. No. And I feel like you're the same way. So maybe that's why it was at the same time. Mm-hmm. Like you worry about me and like where I'm at or. Oh girl, I still worry about you. Have you seen your Insta or your uh, Snapchat videos and your Instagram stories? You drive really crazy and really fast. So yeah, I'm worried Life's about you. Life's too fast to go slow. I, what's really sad, it's a good and bad thing. It's like, I'm not, I guess I shouldn't really say this, but I guess I'm, mm, <laughs> I'm not really afraid of dying anymore because then I would be with dad if anything happened. You know what I'm saying? It's like a scary thing to say, but like, I feel like that's why I'm like more reckless. I also um, feel like I have like something protecting me. Like I'm really not um, crazy. I'm just um, saying that like. I I have so many directions. I can just go with that. You just terrified the crap out of me. You know, I don't want to get that phone call, Jay. I know. I know, because you know, I know how it feels. Reckless, I, I know. reckless I know. behavior brings upon really bad consequences. Mom, I really am not, like... Don't make me move back out there. But I would love that. I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is kind of different. It's 50 questions to ask your mom if you want to know who you really are. Okay? So we're going to get deep about me, I guess. <laughs> wow, that flipped. When I was little, what did you think I was going to be when I grew up? Exactly what you are now. True. Yeah. Yeah. Do it, was you, all, it was the goal. It was the plan. Do you think I have more of your good qualities or bad? Oh, shit. Look at your, look at your children and tell me. Wait. Wait. You have, I don't know. Well, they have all my bad ones. Exactly. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to get at? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think I'm, I think I got to get rid of this jersey to hunt because holy freak. Sorry, I'm in a, you know. It is so hot in here. Okay. <sighs> so I have more of your good, huh? No, yeah. If there, of- if there is any, <laughs> I guess you got it. There is. Casey got good too. So did Skylar. Skylar got he got my, he got the brunt of my bad. The Aries. They're just Aries. Yeah, I'm not an got, Aries. He really got the brunt of my bad. What is the funniest thing I ever said or did as a kid? I, I don't, I don't really don't know. You were always on time. You were always focused. No, like kid, kid, like kid, you, kid. You gotta say, like, what's oh the yeah. Whoa. Okay. I remember when you were in uh dance, right? Ballet. You flat out refused to wear a leotard and tights, which you should have been kicked out of that studio. But you wore a t-shirt over your leotard that said, don't talk to me, talk to my people. And then it was from, what was the name of that store? Uh, Libby Lou. Yeah. Do you remember Libby Lou? They had the cutest girl stuff in there. But um, just stuff like that. You were stubborn. You were super stubborn if you didn't get, you know, 
your way or whatever. You were really stubborn. You're still stubborn. I used to be, but I kind of chilled. I chilled out with that. When was the first time you heard me curse? Two days ago. Not in a song, two days ago. Two days ago. You should have seen the look on Skylar's face. I, was I usually don't, but like, you know. She dropped an F-bomb while we were playing cornhole. And I literally about shit myself. Did you see Skylar's face? Yeah. He was like, they were arguing and the only way I could get them to stop was to get the attention on me. Yeah, that worked. Who was the first person that you told when you were pregnant with me? Well, probably your dad. <laughs> Well, sometimes it's like a sister or a best Yeah, friend. I'm, um, well, my mom, my mom, okay. she was still alive. And my sister. What would you have named me if I was the opposite gender? Jordan. Oh, I don't know. I had Riley, Dylan, and Jordan, whether you were a boy or a girl. Yeah, Riley, Riley Dylan, Jordan. Yeah, yeah, those were all like, that's probably what I named my kids. Or yeah, because I, I felt like I wanted to name all my kids something boy, that girl, would work name. with either. Yep. Yeah, in case you guys like, you know, switched up or whatever. Did I look more like you or dad when I was a baby? You were super ugly when you were born. So like, you, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, right. No, you were just like this. I don't know. You just, I must have crushed you or something. But you did come out backwards. She came out backwards. But first. But first. That's like why my head's frog. so small, my butt's so big. Like a frog. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. What was the most annoying thing I did as a child? Cried for seven straight years. Birth to seven, maybe even eight, cried every freaking day. And it was the loudest, most annoying cry imaginable. I'm a Pisces. And there was no reason for it. There was I'm no a, reason for you to I'm cry every day. Every day. Who helped you take care of me most often? Casey? Mm. Mm. Well, no, because of the studio, you were always with me. I never, we were never apart. True. We really were never apart. How did you choose my middle name? Oh, that's easy. Kaylee is um, my, a couple of my very first students at my own personal dance studio was Kylie. And she used to spill a lot of things and we called her Fred. And then there was um, Katie, who just became a mom. They're both moms now. But I put Katie and Kylie together and it came out Kaylee. And then Marie is my sister's middle name. And so I wanted to incorporate her. And that's how it came to be Kaylee Murray. Because I couldn't pick. What were my first words? Show. Oh, I want a show. You want a show. 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 You should point at the TV and go, show. I'll show you. What's your all-time favorite picture of me? Well, I just saw some on Ashley Roberts on um, Instagram that I didn't even know existed, but they're really pretty because you didn't send me all of them, all of them. Um, wow. Oh, I know exactly. Uh, wife beater, Banji, straight face shot, your hair up in a nubbin, and Gail. It's two. Gail two nubbins. Took that. Oh, yes! face buns that yes, photo yeah yeah I love that it just looks pure and classy and what tv show would I watch every single day Max and Ruby oh yeah Ruby, Ruby and, and Max, Max. bothered me about that show they never had parents did you ever lose me in the supermarket no I think so no when I was a little older no. I remember walking around mm. what's the meanest thing I ever said to you Hmm. Oh, well, I do know the, the, the time that you pissed me off more than anything was when we were with Elizabeth and Larson Thompson and we just finished, you just finished performing on Kids Choice Awards. And I don't know, we got into this big old fight walking out and you told me to just go get the car, like bring the car around or some, you were like 12. I was like, oh no, oh no. But I think I do did you want me to say the meanest thing you ever said to me no, or no? No. Cause I know what it is and you know, I said, sorry, holy frick. It's hot in here. Holy she, did, she did say sorry. I did a lot. <laughs> that was only like a month ago. <laughs> I am so hot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Please stop touching me. <laughs> Not the right two. Please, please, Jesus, stop. Stop. Please, please, please stop touching me. <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm going to have to get a shower again. <laughs> oh my God, I dropped my glasses. What a shit show. It should be the Jordan and Kelly shit show. You can see me glowing. <laughs> it's not you see my, Look at my lip. Look at my lip. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna wrap this up soon. I'm gonna end, I'm gonna ask you fan questions now, okay? Yeah, please. <laughs> Can you open this door. Oh, but the dogs are gonna come out. <laughs> they already know. I have six dogs. Okay. Holy. <laughs> hey. So Mom, to... stop touching me. <laughs> we didn't do hot yoga this morning, so this is kind of like our hot yoga. Aww. Kelly, when are you going to Paris? <laughs> never well not again well i don't know <laughs> I, have no, I have no plans how often did you spank me never i would just do sign language to you how wait wait, wait stop <laughs> <laughs> um mom i'm hot i know well the sign language from across the dance convention um floor yeah what, what was it yeah you mm, if she wasn't pulling her weight and Stand over there marking. I'd find her in the bathroom during tap class. <laughs> I've never been so hot in my life. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You couldn't think of this. This is what we do for good lighting. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Is I'm... it hard for you that she lives so far away? Hard for you or me? You. It's harder on you. I think I'm I'm kind of coming into my, my own, into me the too. next chapter of my life. So... It took us a lot of we, years. Yeah, we have a little bit of separation right now, which I think is healthy. I wish we talked more. Well, we, well, because you she has She has me. fits. She has fits, if I call her. Well, yeah, 85 times oh, a day. <laughs> Can I please have a napkin over here? Shit. <laughs> there, look, there's a whole thing next box. It's coming from different <laughs> places. I know. Wait. Yo, okay, here. what's the hardest thing you have to put up with with me? Oh my Probably this. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Should we move? Should we move? No. I'm sticking. Here, if I just put, if I just put that. <laughs> Guys, she's got Kleenex. No, I just put it there. It stops it from dripping. So <laughs> Mom, what's the hardest thing you have to put up with? Oh my God, your your I don't know your poutiness. I guess when you don't get your way, okay. your pouty puss. Oh my God, if you could go back, what would you change about me? How tall you are? Ooh, well that's not really a going back. <laughs> I would have put in a put in a request. <laughs> 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 That reminds me of a story um, I, on Facebook when I was big into Facebook, which I'm not anymore, so don't even look for me on there. I'll post something once in a while, but I just feel like time for my private life. But anyways, I had my knee, or no, I had a cousin of mine convinced that you were getting injections of horse cartilage into your knees to make you taller. Okay. And she believed it. Ask her to rate me from one to ten. I'm supposed to rate you. Oh, uh, 10. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? But you know what? Uh, going back, not only would I have uh, requested to make you taller, I would have um, forced you to get your teeth fixed when you were younger. I would have. Okay. I don't know why I put that off because that was like super priority. It should have been and it should be everyone's, I guess. I don't know why it should be everyone's. <laughs> My teeth are so jacked. I'm missing like eight of them. I don't think, I don't know. All right, last question. <sighs> Would you ever support me starting an OnlyFans? Support's a heavy word. I mean, I wouldn't, I mean, Would I Would you know be that, on board? Yeah, yeah, I guess. If that makes You're you the happy. one that wants me to do it. No, it's not. I did never said that. I never, ever said that. I said that just could lead to other things that you, that I don't want for you. And that was not the goal. So try to stick to the goal okay, and stay true to who you are. I am hot. That's true. <laughs> 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 Ooh.
Yo, okay, y'all, I'm going to wrap up this episode. Thanks, Mom, for stepping on today. <laughs> Go inside, you sweat. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh, my freaking God. I'm gonna go. All right, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. <laughs> it's very hot. Next week is going to be in the studio on Thursday, and the normal schedule is coming back. I promise. Please comment down below who you want to have on the podcast, who I haven't had on. If you want to see someone again, let me know. And I will see you guys next Thursday with a new episode. Make sure you rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts and make sure you add us to your Spotify playlist. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.